What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Since we're installing things today, I figured why not install these uh, frunk lights that I got from Lighting Bug. As you guys know, I have their entire interior LED ambient lighting kit, which is off the chain. I'll post that video up here somewhere so you guys can check that out. And I highly recommend getting that kit if you have an older um, Model 3 that's not the refreshed Highland. It will change the interior of your car forever. But let's get to installing these um, frunk lights right here. It's supposed to be super easy. Let's check it out. So as we open the frunk, you can see there's only one little itty bitty light and as it gets darker, that's just not enough for me. I like my trunk and my frunk to be lit up at night as an added safety measure. So let's go ahead and install this LED strip and see how it looks. So to get started, you're going to have to remove this trim piece here that pops off pretty easily. And inside, we're going to have a split connector cable. This goes into the regular um, connector of the car to your light. This is going to connect to the LED lighting strip, and I believe this is a ground cable. I have to figure out where to connect that. onto any metal piece. I have my auto front, so I want that connection to be stable. Um, wow, these things are full light. Whoa. This connecting piece right here, one is gonna plug into your original light. Then we're gonna have that harness plug into your connecting right, right here. And this bad boy is gonna plug into the LED strips and this gonna light those things up look at that wow Woo! it is bright i'm stoked for these the trouble i'm gonna face is finding out how to keep this connected but i mean this little light right here the oem one that you get or that one I mean, you guys can be the judge of that. This is not a hard decision, <laughs> right? Little itty bitty light, or them bright lights. Woo! Yeah. Once again, you know, for some people, this little light right here will suffice. But when I'm going to my front and I want to see things especially at night, I would rather have that light in the way. So let's just go ahead and place this all around the front and then we'll deal with that ground wire later. Under here. <laughs> Underneath the trim like that. You know? Because if that's placed under the trim, how bright does that become? Let's check it out. If we have to tuck it in between there, I mean, that's still bright, whoa. So what I'm doing is I'm tucking this light under the rubber trim piece. With the white side of the light facing up. And what's so great about Lighting Book Tech is that they stand behind their products and so far my interior lighting kit has held up and it's super amazing. I get compliments everywhere I go and I can already tell by this light right here that it's really great quality. So.
That's dope. No light strip. Like, so when I go like that, then I go put all this stuff back. Oh! Look at that, Joe. I think we got it, baby. ASAP. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody, we have a Frunk Light courtesy of Lighting Bug Tech. I think this thing is sick. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing my thanks. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.